I'm in IIS, Internet Information Services, on a Windows 2019 server, and I'm going to show you how to use host headers. Now, if you haven't seen how to set up IIS, check out the video that shows you how to do that in this playlist, and then you can come back here and continue. So I've got two different websites, the default website, and I created a second website called Welcome. Now, if I click on Bindings, we can see that it's listing on port 80, and I'll click on Edit and there's nothing in the host name. This is the area where host headers are set up. And what it allows you to do is it allows you to have more than one website listen on the same port, and it splits it all up by name rather than by just port number. So I'm gonna leave that at 80, and now I'm gonna to go to the second website and click Edit. And when you create a second website, it automatically pushes it out to a different port. So that way you don't have uh, both websites listening on the same port. So if I try to change that to 80, watch what happens. It says, hey, you can't do this because it's already assigned to a different site. But if I use host headers, I can. So I'm going to cancel this and go back to the first website once again and click bindings. And this time I'm going to click edit and I'm going to put in a host header. In this case, I'm going to call it default.techpub. US, and that's just the name of my domain. It could be Active Directory domain or just a domain that you own. It's up to you. And I'm going to use the, the host name of default. So I'm going to leave it at port 80, click OK, and click Close. Now I'm going to go to my second website once again, click Bindings, click Edit, and I'm going to call this one welcome.techpub.us, and I'm going to change it to port 80. Will we get the same error? We do not, because we're now using host headers instead of just the port to identify which website we want. Now, if we would like to also add in HTTPS with a certificate, we can do that as well. So I'll change this to HTTPS. I'll call this one welcome.techpub.us, and I'll choose a certificate. Of course, I already have to have that part set up. If you don't know about certificates, you can check out another video in this playlist that shows you how to do that and click OK. And so now I've got both 80 and 443. So you would do the same thing back on the default website and add the default.techpub.us for 443. All right, so I'll click Close. Now before this will work, we're going to need to edit DNS. We'll have to go into the DNS Manager. And my domain is called techpub.us for Active Directory. I have some other domains here as well, but those are not my Active Directory domains. Those are just separate domains that I use for various other tools and, and services. So now I'm going to create a new host record, and I'll call one welcome. And I'll put in my IP address, which is the IP address of the server I'm on. And now I'm going to create a second one called default. And add that as well. Now, if I have created a different domain name altogether, I would have to go into forward lookup zones, create a new zone, and put in a new domain. And you can choose primary zone or uncheck Active Directory since it's not really for Active Directory. And you can put in the zone name such as welcome.info or hello.net, something like that. And then we'd create the same A records inside that zone, just as I did here. So now that I've got welcome and default, I need to make sure that they're both listening on port 80 and make sure that they're still running. Because if you're not using host headers and you have them both on port 80, one of them is going to fail. So there's 81. I'm going to change it to 80. Click OK, and the default website, I'm just going to confirm, it's also running at 80, and it is. All right, and look at that, both websites are still working because I'm using host headers. So I'm going to change this one back to 80, but I'm also going to give it a different name. So I'm going to do HTTP colon slash slash, and I'll put in welcome.techpub.us. And it still shows my welcome site, so that worked. Fantastic. Now I'm going to call this next one default.techpub.us, and I see the default website. So that worked as well. So uh, I've used here host headers to separate 
the web pages. Now take a look if I remove my host headers, watch what happens. So I'll get rid of that here. And I'll get rid of this here. So now both websites are going to be listening on port 80 without a host header, which you can't work. See, look at this. We're getting an error saying the binding for port 80 is already being used for a different site. So you can do it with host headers, but you can't do it without them unless you change the port on one of the websites. So that's how you use host headers in Windows Server 2019.